Being a rancher isn't easy and conquering the far, far range isn't cheap either. So today I present the top seven tips for a new rancher to make some new bucks. The very first way for any greenhorn rancher to start making money is to forage for plorts in the wild. Slimes are hungry and they're always eating and after they eat they um release their plorts. Be sure to suck up as many as you can before another slime can gobble them down. You will find pink plorts in abundance especially at the start and you'll make a few new bucks if you collect them in bulk but be sure to collect as many other plorts as you can as they are almost always worth more than the pinks. Another great way for a beginner to make some new bucks is to break those crates you see lying around everywhere. Each crate contains random items including food, slimes, and new bucks. So whenever you see a crate, simply suck it up with your backpack and toss it towards the cliff or other solid surface and you will reap the rewards of the treasure inside. Now here is a tip that I need to take more advantage of myself and that's keeping an eye on the plort market. Plort prices are not set in stone. They change daily, either going up, down, or staying the same. Plorts that once brought you in a ton of new bucks may not be worth it after a while if you sell them often. It's all based on supply and demand, and the prices change at 12 a.m. in game time. So take a moment at the start of your day to check the prices as well as the little icon. Green up arrows for price gone up, red down arrows for price gone down, and a gray dash if it remained the same. Now this tip requires a bit of luck and some quick thinking. Occasionally you'll be running along, doing your thing, and you'll see a slime unlike the others. Gold slimes are well, gold, and they will show up for only a short time before it goes away. In order to get a gold plort, you just have to plunk them over the head with something, like a piece of fruit. But um, I like tossing a chickadoo at them, <laughs> makes the chickadoo feel useful. The lucky slimes are white with a little new buck on its head. And they come with a distinctive jingle. These feline slimes are meat eaters and if you feed them a roostro or a hen hen, they will reward you with some new bucks. And the more you feed it before it disappears, the more new bucks you will get, up to 300 each feed. So make sure it eats up. Now if you've been playing a while and perhaps explored some different areas, it's time to start being strategic about how you combine your slimes. While it's helpful initially to combine slimes with pinks to make largos that are easier to feed, after a while it's best to make slime hybrids without the pinks as pink plorts are very low value. Largos release two plorts, one for each slime in its combination, and since many slimes such as honey, boom, or hunter are worth more, it's best to create largos that will give you the most bang for your new buck. But be sure to combine slimes that eat different types of food to make them easier to please. Since each largo takes on the dietary habits of the slimes it's combined with, mixing a meat eater with a veggie eater or a veggie eater with a fruit eater means you will have twice the options of settling their rumbling tummies. In some cases you don't want to cage your slimes and free range slimes are the way to go. Once you unlock the grotto or the overgrowth, you can import some slimes and just let them graze to their heart's content. The grotto is perfect for your phosphorus slimes to hang out and the overgrowth will be great for almost any slime, but especially meat eaters because there are hen hens literally popping out of the ground. If you'd like, you can even allow two types of slimes to roam and they can make happy free range largos, but no more than that because then those tars will crash the party. Ah, the range exchange, where your neighbors make requests of you that you fulfill and they will give you sweet, sweet prizes. Mochi Miles will request various plorts, Ogden Ortiz will want fruits and vegetables, Victor Humphreys will request specific slimes, Thora West will request the variety of things, and Bob will, um, want chickens. I'm on to you, Bob. Fulfilling requests will provide you with varying amounts of new bucks that you'll see listed on the screen, and I highly suggest completing requests for Mochi, Ogden, and Victor because it will really help you later in the game. But that's a story for another video. So what do you think about all this? I'd love to know. That's it for me. See you all on the next adventure.